It was 2005 and Kate de Rouge, life was changing forever. She'd won the biggest singing competition in the country, Australian Idol, of course, and signed up to be a part of the Aussie supergroup, The Young Divas. I was born to dream, the craziest girl you ever seen. But in the years following, Kate's life would change forever, from battles with her body to a drug addiction which saw her hit rock bottom. Now, six years on, the singer is bouncing back and ready to tell her story her way. And Kate DeRouge joins us live from our Melbourne studios. Hi, Kate. Good morning, guys. How are we? Oh, we are great. So nice to see you. Over the next five weeks, you'll be sharing your journey through this new podcast that you've launched. Why was now the time to get it out there? Um, it just felt like the right time, I guess. You know, I'd been told lots of times over the last few years that my story was one I should share but I, I guess I just wanted to make sure that I had the right message and I knew what I was talking about I guess I, I wanted to make sure I had my feet really firmly planted in recovery because um, you know relapse is, is quite a common uh, part of some people's journey so I just wanted to make sure I was really secure in what I was doing. Okay. Kate, okay, let's go back to the, the first chapter of the story that we know about, right? There's no yeah. talking about your story without, of course, talking about Idol. Take us back to 2005. You went from an unknown girl uh, from yeah. Bendigo to dominating the headlines when you won Idol. It was such a big story in the day. Everyone in Australia knew you and it appeared that everyone had an opinion. How would you deal with that? Um, yeah, look, I talk about that a lot in the podcast. Like, I guess, um, you know, Idol was such a wonderful experience in so many ways and it gave me so many incredible opportunities. But when I was in it, it was so fast um, um, as, those, as those shows are. But I guess for me, um, unfortunately, I was so lost in my own anxieties and fears and inhibitions and, and, and you know, I hated the way I looked and I hated my body that I, I was never able to really... Um, enjoy it as much as I should have, I guess. Yeah. The, in this podcast, Kate, nothing is off limits. No. I mean, you know, you open, you open up, you, you discuss your addiction to methamphetamine, um, yep. more commonly known as ice. Uh, yep. This wasn't recreational drug use. This was, this was something that really took a hold of you. Yeah, look, my, um, I guess my drug use, and I talk about it in a lot of detail, um, you know, throughout the podcast, but my drug addiction started many years earlier with different types of drugs, but, and, and, and methamphetamines were the substance, I guess, that brought me to my knees, essentially, but the drugs were a much, you know, they were just a symptom of a much greater problem, you know what I mean? They, mm. they became my solution to my mental health um, and all of those things I discussed like my my fears and and just this anxiety that I battled with for so many years and you know they became I guess my solution until they didn't. Kate yeah. you say you hit rock bottom was that was that a moment in time was it an hour was it a day was it a weekend what happened and how did it happen this rock bottom concept? Yeah, look, it, it um, and again, in the podcast, I talk about it all in much greater detail and there's not, maybe not as appropriate for this time of the morning, but, um, you know, I, um, I had lots of rock bottoms that were events that people saw in the media and, and you know, losing relationships and money and houses and, and, and friendships and all of that stuff you would think would have been enough. But for me, it was a really quiet rock bottom. It was a really internal... Um, internal thing that happened where I just caught myself and saw myself for where really where I was um, and I just knew in that moment for whatever reason I just knew if things didn't change um, the end wasn't wasn't going to be good for me. Kate I love what you said earlier in the interview today you said something about you want to make sure your feet were pl uh, planted firmly in in you know rehabilitation and the way forward before telling this story in detail on the yeah. podcast when we see the sad passing of someone like Matthew Perry who had his addiction problems and who yeah. has spoken about uh, addiction and rehab and he was in and out something like 30 times how does yeah. that for someone who's gone through uh, addiction and rehab how does his passing and his story resonate with you you know, I, I think even though obviously I don't know yeah. Matthew Perry, um, you or oh, I as a as another addict in recovery and who has experienced relapse over the years still feel a level of understanding and, and knowing him. And I think that's um, one of the beautiful things um, in the community of addiction and recovery. And I'm a, I'm a really proud member of Narcotics Anonymous and what have not. But, you know, he... Um, it's just sad to see somebody lose their battle um, and, and I guess because I can understand 
some of the pain and some of the discomfort that he he would have gone through it just it just hurts it does it hurts mm. to see somebody not not come out the other side yeah now the podcast series will end with your journey into motherhood yeah. is this something you want hudson to listen to a little later on in life with your voice were you mindful of that yeah look there were some things that i i said without saying in too much detail i guess because you know i don't think he needs to know everything but i i do want him to know moving forward that you know change is always possible and i guess it doesn't matter how bad it gets or if you think that there is no hope um you know there's always room there's always room for change and recovery is always possible and obviously I, I hope that never for him and 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 I guess it, you know my story is is an extreme one in in the sense of um, you know of the places I ended up but people struggle with you know anxiety and and all of the things that I struggle with every day and and I guess people use different types of things to escape and to, and to soothe and to manage their feelings. So I just, I just want him to know that he can come to me and that I'll always understand. Mm. Well, Kate, uh, your story, gee, it's a really powerful one. Congratulations mm. on telling it so, uh, so well. Thank you very yeah. much. Thanks for having me. That's Thanks, okay. Kate. Great to see you. Kate's yeah, podcast you. is called Why Do I Feel This Way?